Hello, you lovely and beautiful people, and welcome back to a brand new game called, I believe it's Enotria, is how you say it. Enotria, the last song. It's a Souls-like game built out of Italian folklore from, I believe it's called, pronounced Jemaya Studios out in Italy. It's an independent one. So it's new, it's exciting. It's got a bunch of uh, different features from the original Souls games. They have a bunch of masks and stuff to get through, and apparently the lore is also super fun. So I would not like to skip just in case. But apparently this game is super cool. Just released um, September 16th or yesterday. And I've heard I've heard I've heard it's good. It's an independent, like I said, independent studio. So it's not to the tier that Elden Ring and Dark Souls 3 are and all that. Because it's think that they believe it's in their first game. But we support independent studios here. So I'm gonna give it a try and play it. I've played previous Dark Souls, but I have not really felt compelled to play any of the recent ones. But here we are. I'll be playing more Space Marine as well. Uh, that game's super exciting. Uh, I'm curious where they build off that as well. That should be a lot of fun, and the co-op's pretty good too. I know that Frostpunk's coming out soon, so we'll be doing that as well. There's a bunch of stuff coming out. Um, then the Soviet Republic will keep going. And like I said in some previous publications, I will no longer be doing Nordland. Um, I felt that game had run its course with my in interest in it, really. Um, like I said before and I explained, it didn't quite pan out the way I thought it was going to pan out. I was not really planning on uh, how political the game was and not being able to control more than one town. I thought it was a multi, multi-town control thing, but it uh, did not really pan out that way. So It is what it is. Still a fun game. Uh, I do recommend it. It's just, it, it was going to turn more battle-y and like almost RTS-y. And I really wasn't trying to play something like that. Uh, I'm playing this one on controller. Uh, apparently at this time, they put out some, some news briefings since yesterday. But the key bindings are a little weird for uh, keyboard and mouse. So we're playing this one on controller. I believe they're fixing it though. But uh, in my experience, games like these are easier on controller anyways. Because there's a lot more... Uh, Spamminess to it, kind of, and you want to spam on like a keyboard, effectively. I'm supposed to be reading this? They gave life to their own gods and legends. Okay, I'll read it then. The gods, as flawed as their creators, fell victim to the darker impulses inherent in mankind. Humanity climbed atop a mountain, made of fallen gods, and declared itself the peak. The rebellious few discover the power of the arts to shape reality according to their will. Pulsanella, the minstrel of change. Arlecchino, king of the theater. Oh my god, these names are hard. Captain Spaventa, the son of Meridania. Meridinia. Pantalone, Pantalone, the merchant of destinies. Balazzoni. The Herald of Knowledge. Colombina, the Saint of the Stage.
The authors drafted the Canavaccio script where the stage was the very world. Oh, that was quick. And thus the Canavaccio gripped the world and its creatures in eternal stagnation, trapping all behind a mask of its eternal lore. In a world of masks, only one without a role can choose their destiny and free this world from stagnation. There we go. Awaken, maskless one. The stage is set. Okay. I think I'm made of wood. Somewhat. Something like that. Uh, right stick to lock on a target. Light and heavy. Okay, one flawed vessel chain. If I power up. No. Okay. Need to dodge. Oh, I can just do it. And a well-timed parry can negate incoming damage. Okay. Come on. Okay. How, uh, how quick did that to be? Oh, quicker than that. Do I hold it? Oh, you hold it. Okay. All right. Very nice. Uh, a door unraveling. The maskless one can weaken the Canavaccio's grip on all manner of things. Fighting hostile beings cause them to unbind their unraveling meter. When filled, they will temporarily be temporarily exposed to a finishing strike. Okay. The big sword. All right. When you finish off an unraveled enemy, they briefly enter the awakened state. When a well awake, the massless one gains a variety of positive effects that depend on the mask they are currently wearing. I'm not wearing a mask currently. Very nice. Need to jump. Yeah, we obviously figured that one out. I like the Lawler Roots. It's kind of cool. Oh, what you got, buddy? Looks like speed's super important in this game. Oops. Oh, is it? Oh, okay. The top yellow is my stamina bar. That makes sense. Does dodging takes stamina? It does. Use Armonia Amber. Armonia Amber to restore health. Okay. Typical, uh, kind of Souls intro here. Uh oh. There's the big boss. Force of Chain. Cool name. Good parry. Oh, bad parry. Good parry. Oh, didn't dodge that. Did you not get stunned from that? Oh. 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 Okay. Um, fair enough. 
I thought the dodging was doing more, but I guess it was not. Let's see. Let's try that again. Yeah, see that. So when am I supposed to be dodging? Now? Or just out of range? Yeah, it's like following me. Dodge back, dodge to the side, dodge again. Yeah, he's like cracking me. Huh. Oh. Harry. Nope. Come on. Clicking it. Harry. Good. Harry. Good. Harry. Good. Wait. Am I not bearing this? There we go. Okay, that makes sense. Again. There's a parry. That's not a parry. What? Hmm. I feel like that parry was on time. There's no indicator, though. There you go. Oh my. Okay, where's my lock on? There we go. Too late. Too late. Bro. Stop. Nope. Nope, too early. The timing on this needs a little... I'm trying to figure out when to parry. Is it right before? I didn't really say. Yep. There we go. There we go. Oh. Come on. That should be it. Okay. Whew. All right, that was a little more. Uh, <laughs> that was a little more difficult than I thought. The parrying really. Um. What did all this do? How do I do that? Resting spots restore health and charge. Tipper. Reality not. Oh, these are like the campfires. Yep. Gotcha. All right. Uh, open loadouts menu. Change equipment. Cool. Uh, navigate to loadout two. Masks inventory. Equip mask of change allows you to do more damage through heavy attacks. In addition, your physical power is also increased while awakened. Right. Summon an, an adorable sword imbued with the power of these buys. Form a very powerful heavy attack. Parting speed presto. Uh, cobblestone? What was that going to do? It can be tossed to deal minor damage and draw their attention. Okay. Open the path of innovators to acquire perks through inspiration. Oh, God. Acquire the Gratia path. Upon casting the mask line equipped to one slot, one slot one, your weapon is briefly infused with crowd. Grazia. Dodging attack causes the attacker to be slightly unraveled. Nice. Uh we want this perk. This perk. Okay, very nice. Aspects of the soldier, aspects of the I kinda wanna I kinda wanna be able to do something again. I guess we'll I'm not wearing the mask though. Oh, required more stuff. Mask loadouts. The maskless one has up to three loadouts at their disposal, in which all kinds of equipment can be set while at a resting spot. While exploring, only weapons, gems, and consumables can be changed. Change the active loadout can be done at any moment. Double pressing the swap input allows you to quickly select the loadout that is currently farthest in pick order. Okay.
What is this? The aspect of the acolyte. Spellweaver. Summons an ethereal crossbow. Step backward and immediately follow up with an attack using a quick weapon. Duelist virtue. Okay. Um. Okay. I make this guy. An assassin? Colossal greatsword? Looking for like speed, right? Speed a thing? Physical damage, adore, damage on rabble. Hmm. Oh, good, we can level up. Um, Virtues, Bruiser gives you health. Assassin gives you attack power. Elementalist gives you a bunch of that. Trickster, Battle Mage. Okay, Oak Size. Um, I want to do a little bit of Bruiser and attack damage and... Stamina. Sure. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I just I just did this, didn't I? There we go. Um how quick is this sword? I see here. Drunken, yep. What about the other one? Do I have to buy it? Why not just equip all three? Since I'm going to be doing that anyways. Uh Yeah, why not just get all three cuz I or all four cuz I only have I only have those anyways. Um Sword. Is there any better swords? Physical damage. That's the one I'm currently using. How's the ultra? Uh, maybe I should swap it for here and swap that for here. How about that? Okay. Hold LT and RB to use door Okay. I'd that take my help. Oh. Whoops. I thought. My fault. Whoops. Alright. LT. RB. And all these other ones. And my fault. We'll come back. That one's on me. Um. Alright. So how do I... How do I change weapon? Up. Up. On the D-pad? Okay. This looks like a piece of wood, not a great sword. I guess they all kind of look like pieces of wood. Huh. Alright. Uh, let's continue on. Oh. Mask lines. Mask lines are powerful Adore abilities. In order to use them, the mask with one needs to land attacks on their enemies, it gradually charges them up. 
So on the bottom left, they're charged up and doing damage to you. Oh, hello. This enemy has an innate, innate Fatuo defense. This makes them immune to Fatuo damage, but vulnerable, but vulnerable to Grazia. Try infusing you over to Grazia and landing. Grazia lines will increase damage. Um, there's something over here that makes me do that on the left. Whoops. I gotta keep landing attacks though, don't I? Nice. Um, alright, so L, which one? Which one's the Gratia birth? Press Y and press B. Y? Okay, that's the Gratia one. Inflicts Radiant, causing one to recover health over time. However, taking damage while afflicting creates a powerful explosion. Okay. An enemy and afflicted with Radiant, recover, they recover health over time. Tricky, you can... You hit them, it triggers a powerful explosion that can knock you backwards. Try using range attacks to avoid getting pushed away. What? Physical defenses, mitigate different types of damage. Okay. What is this? Hmm. Oh my. Alright, so on the top left, it looks like there's counters. So, whatever the other things are called, they counter each other. Oh, okay. what do we got here? Sap, more cobblestone. Okay. So, primal elements. V these inflicts dizzy, which increases damage dealt to stamina regeneration at a cost of lowered defenses. So, Vi or V counters. What is it? Where is that? Vi counters. Malanano. 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 Which counters Gratia? Which counters Fatuo? Which counters? Sure. When afflicted with dizzy, all the damage you deal is increased alongside your stamina to rate regeneration. However, your defenses are reduced. It's great skill to take full advantage of this status. Okay. Very nice. I'm a dizzy. Oh. An author's thoughts. Compendium contains all the discoveries made while you explore. The entry will display here after you find or attain it. Okay. Untangle knot. Porta Rizinate. Uh, a bunch of bodies over here. It's kind of weird. Juniper sword. Not do any damage. Any better damage than a long sword per se? Uh, Juniper Sword. One, can I compare? Scaling D, D, E, E, E. So there's a lot more Dore damage. Okay. Dore. Quick though, isn't it? Way quicker. I think quick is the name of the game. Because as the people are kind of charging up, it seems you can hit them and knock them out of their current fight. The field of beginning. Quinta. Okay. Old beat a sprint. Nice. Gym stamina. Nice little sunflower patch.
What if I... Nice. Got one of them. Get him. Nice. Acquired a sizzling torch. Okay. Uh, there's one guy over there. You run around up here. Oh, come on. That's pretty lame. I feel like my strike was cool. Kill two townsperson. Uh oh. This enemy has innate V Vi defense, which makes him immune to Vi damage but vulnerable to Fatio. Okay. Oh my. Dodge. Uh oh. Oh. Okay. Whew. Uh. All right. How do I get? Wait. So he's immune to fire damage. I don't have fire damage though, do I? Oh, I have seventeen skill points. Why didn't I do anything? Um. All right. Let's see. Where is like the fire stuff? Got to be over here, right? Really? Where's the? Wait, do I already have that? Oh, I do. I do have that. Okay. Wait, where is that? I don't have a. Hold on. I don't think I have that equipped. Where's the, where, it's not an ability. It just says... Where, where am I? Here we go. Upon casting the mask line equipped in slot 3, your weapon is briefly infused with Fatio. Line 3. What? What does that mean? Line 3. Upon casting the mask line equipped in slot three, your weapon is briefly infused with fat. So I need to. Is it always slot three? Upon casting the mask line slot one, your weapon is briefly. Okay, so what if I do that? That how I do it? On casting the mask slot line. Okay, so it looks like you need all these like more damage because they're kind of immune. Uh, I'm gonna play bruiser a little bit, and then these are some expensive things. Now, do I have to then equip the things I unlock, or is that just things I get? It is. Okay, so this guy's going to be the bruiser, I suppose, which makes sense. That's good. Okay, like that. And what's this guy like the rogue? Yep. Okay. All right. Now let's see here. This guy's going to be the aspect of the rogue. Does a lot of fire damage. Okay. 
Why can't I? Sure. We'll do all the trickster one. Rogue esque ones. Oops. Preparedness, Path of Assassination, Supreme Foot. Okay. And this guy. Want Player of Thorns, Path of This, Heavy Attacks, and Crouch Kick. Yeah. All right. I think I'm getting it now. I think so. There we go. So this guy's that guy was um susceptible to fire and I guess I didn't notice that's what we picked up. <laughs> 